How's it everybody? Let's take a good look at this language question. Um, now as always, we only look at the actual text for, well, context. So just head straight into the questions, especially if you're under some kind of time pressure. So 5.1, refer to line one, provide a synonym for returns in context. Returns. So a relatively small investment in travel now yields major returns for the rest of your life. Okay. Major returns, maybe benefits, gains, profits, rewards, results, anything along those lines that have scored you the mark. 5.2, rewrite the expression figure out in standard English. Figure out in standard English. One of the first things to figure out, maybe one of the first things to determine, to consider, to calculate, to understand, to find out. Anything along those lines would have scored you the mark. 5.3, correct the pronoun error in paragraph one. Oh my God, those are not my pronouns. They them. Okay, okay, look, that's nothing to make a joke about, okay? Okay, if you laughed, you're part of the problem. Okay, I, I now identify as a, as an English teacher for the rest of this video. Okay, no more jokes. All right. Okay, so, you know, feel free to pause the video. Oh, I mean, well, don't pause the video. I mean, you can do whatever you like, you know, in your life, you've got free will. You know what, I'm, I'm joking. Like, try and solve this one on your own. So, it's probably going to be off to figure out. So, every penny you can spend on travel is an investment in yourself and an investment in the world around one. Since you're using you here, you should use the, you should use you here as well. So the answer is just going to be from one to you. 5.4, uh, rewrite the above sentence fragment in the passive voice. So traveling expands your social connections to different people. So it's going to be your social connections is what you start with. Okay, this is, this is active voice. We need to change it into passive voice. So your social connections to different people are expanded by traveling, are expanded by traveling. 5.5, remove the redundancy in paragraph two. What is redundancy? What is tautology? It's just, just excessive wording. Look, as an Indian person, I can say this. Durban Indian people, you always like to speak like this. Hey, I'm, I'm reversing the car backwards. What do you mean you're reversing the car backwards, Sagrin? Okay, you're either reversing the car or you're going backwards. Okay, you're not reversing the car backwards. Okay, look, hey, I'm over sorry if you speak like that. Look, to my kids watching in Cape Town, Limpopo, or Northern Cape, you probably have got no cooking clue. But that's that's how the peeps be be talking there in Durban. Okay, I'm I'm currently in Durban right now. Usually in Josie, I'm actually moving to Cape Town next year. Hey, moving moving in with my partner. Okay, Goon Goon School. My partner is actually the the lady who makes the Afrikaans videos for you guys. Just just by the way, if you were like wondering. Who she is, yo, that's my, it's like my soon-to-be wife, but like, don't, don't tell her. Trust. Okay, it's a secret. Okay, next. Uh, where is the redundancy in paragraph two? Hmm. Okay, feel free to pause the video. Uh, hopefully you would have seen it. Various and other. So it's either various cultures or other cultures. Hey, various other cultures. What, what do you mean various other cultures? It's, it's one or the other, chief. So various or other, the possible answers, yeah. I'm in a good mood, so I'm very chatty, but I know you guys are probably writing soon, so yo, I'll keep my I'll keep my comments to the sword. Give the function of the hyphen in line eight. Uh in line eight, that whole work life balance thing majig. Um there this is a it's a compound word in Afrikaans, so it's a samastalang. Uh it's a look for my non-Afrikaans speakers, it's just a compound word. Like you've joined two words together, work and life, boom, work life. But for me, thug life. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm not a thug. I'm, I'm just a teacher. I'm not even a teacher. I, I tutor full time. If you guys are wondering like what I do, I don't teach at a school actually because I'd be a menace. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not a menace. Or am I? Okay, focus, focus. 5.7. While you grow with travel, you're also improving the world around you, uh, especially if you follow ethical travel practices. So that's line 11 and 12. 5.7.1. Uh, explain why the word practices is used incorrectly in the sentence. Practices with an S, everybody. That is a verb, okay? Down there is a verb. We want the noun, so it's meant to be a C. Replace practices with the correct word? Well, it should be practices with the C. 5.8 refer to lines 12 to 13. Uh, so there's 11, uh, 12, 13. You're helping to create jobs. One in 10 jobs on the planet are in the travel and tourism industry. So 5.8.1, correct the Concord error in the above sentence. Uh, one in 10 jobs on the planet are in the travel and tourism industry. It shouldn't be are, it should be is. Okay, the subject there, not agreeing with the verb. And 5.8.2, replace the dash with a suitable conjunction uh, without changing the meaning of the sentence. Replace the dash, this dash over here, with a suitable conjunction. So maybe because, as, since. 
So you're helping to create jobs because or as or since. So because one in 10 jobs on the planet. Yeah. So because that's a terrible C. Okay, there's the C. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Look, this, this is a very basic language question, honestly. It is from a matric final pass paper, but this one's easy. It, it gets trickier.